In this class, we will discuss about Maxwell equation. It is the one of the most important topic of electromagnetics. Let us try to understand the first Maxwell equation. As you know that in when we have been proving Gauss law, we stated if I have a closed body and if it carries a charge Q, so there will be a flux lines leaving out. So we have proved that over the closed surface d dot ds is equal to the charge enclosed by that. This is by Gauss law. We also have seen that I can represent charge in terms of volume charge density which would be nothing but over the volume rho v dv because we know that what is charge or volume charge density it is the charge per unit volume. So this we have already seen while we have been proving the Gauss law. Now d dot ds over the closed surface is equal to over the volume surface rho v dv. This is the first Maxwell equation let me call as the first equation and this is called as integral form of Maxwell equation. Now if I apply the Gauss divergence theorem on this we know that what is Gauss divergence theorem let us have a recall. Gauss divergence theorem says that over the surface integral a dot ds will be represented as in the form of divergence. So it will be nothing but over the volume integral del dot a dv. So the surface integral would be represented in terms of volume integral and that would be nothing but a divergence del dot a. Now we will apply the same here. So if I apply same, so A is nothing but my D here. So it would be nothing but I will have over the volume integral del dot D, DV would be equal to over the volume integral rho V DV. Now this is also over the volume integral, this is also over the volume integral. I can replace that. So when I will conclude del dot d is equal to rho v because if both are equal then del dot d has to equal to rho v and this is what is called as point form of Maxwell equation. So we have proved the first Maxwell equation which is nothing but del dot d is equal to rho v in point form and integral form it is nothing but d dot ds is equal to rho v dv over the volume integral. So the important thing to note is the first Maxwell equation has been proved from Gauss law. We will summarize this later in the coming lectures.